G'day and welcome to Charlie's Medic Tutorials and these tutorials will take you through a lot of tips and tricks and show you a lot of medic know-how just to make your medic skills that much better. In this tutorial I will only be looking at the two main healing guns which are the Ubercharge and the Kritzkrieg. I find that the Quick Fix is pretty underpowered and quite useless so I won't actually go into it in this video. Ubercharge. Medic and target become invulnerable to damage for 8 seconds. The fastest charge rate is 40 seconds and the slowest charge rate is 80 seconds. The uber duration is 8 seconds. What increases the speed of gaining Ubercharge? Well either healing damaged players or healing players to gain them an overheal. What slows down the gaining of an Ubercharge? Well if you're healing a target that has already been healed by another medic that slows down both of your ubers and if you're healing someone that is actually near a dispenser that also decreases your charge rate. The speed up and slow down both apply to the crits Krieg. Crits Krieg. Target gets 100% full critical hits for 8 seconds. The fastest charge rate is 32 seconds and the slowest charge rate is 64 seconds. And the crit's duration is 8 seconds. What's better, the Metagun or the Crit's Krig? Well, see, personally, I find that the Metagun is better all round. Um, the Crit's Krig is kind of specific... Uh, for only certain scenarios where the uber it can apply to many different scenarios making it just a bit better but in the right hands the crits Krieg is way overpowered than the normal metagun but you've got to be healing a decent player and you've got to be a decent medic yourself 99% of the time I use the uber charge basically because it's like a get out of jail free card and certain scenarios where I'm about to die I just pop it and I can just run and fall back behind my lines and continue healing uh, in turn keeping my team alive and that's what I want to be doing as a medic. And that's another thing, I see a lot of medics who have an uber and they're all by themselves and maybe they're burning and they could pop the uber to keep themselves alive but they don't. And I mean I used to do that as well, I'd be in scenarios where I'd be like oh it's a bit of a waste but the thing is pop it, don't drop it. I mean it's better to pop your uber and stay alive rather than just die and you still had an uber that you could have used to keep yourself alive and keep yourself in the battle even though it might actually end up being a useless uber you're still alive to charge up another one instead of waiting for the respawn and having to go all the way back to the front lines to start up another uber now if you were to pick the Kritzkrieg over the uber your aim with the Kritzkrieg or with the person you're critscrigging, their aim is to take out the other opposing medic with the uber before he can pop it off or before he can gain it. That's really your aim with the critscrig, it's to not deny them ubers so they're not pushing. And as long as you're communicating that with your uh, person you're critscrigging, it should go all to plan. That's why you kind of need uh, not only you as a good medic, but your player to be good as well and just good general communication when using the crits Krieg. So if you are starting to learn to play medic and you're learning from this tutorial I would recommend just start with the medic gun and as you get a better become a better medic then slowly maybe go on the crits Krieg. I mean I'm not saying solely go on medic gun but use your medic gun as your main and then slowly work your way onto crits Krieg and understand it a bit more. I mean if you're up for communication and you talk really well with your players then by, by all means go with the crits Krieg. I mean I think communication is a much better tool than any other uh, ability to kill people because without communication a team can fall apart really really badly. Okay now when to pop. With the crits Krieg, it's generally when uh, your target, your healing target, tells you to because they've got the vision and you're generally behind your person. You can't actually see what's around the corner. So yeah, just generally go with their call. But with the overcharge, I mean, it's kind of just on judgment and you just get better at that judgment as the game goes on. 
but I don't know, kind of go by a rule, uh, if you're going to stand there, if you stood in that position for maybe two to three seconds and you think you'll die, then it's probably a good time to pop. I don't know, just generally judge it, but it's better to pop early than late, because then if you pop too late and you drop your Uber, which means you die with your Uber, you know, that's... That's a really, really bad sign. You don't want to do that. That's the worst thing you can do as a medic. It's basic. It basically comes back to pop it, don't drop it, which is a competitive term for pop your Uber and don't drop your Uber, which is die with your Uber. Um, you don't don't wait for the perfect moment to use your Uber because that moment just before you die, that's the perfect moment. You don't want to die. And I mean, if you're trying to actually look for the perfect moment to pop it, so you get your target gets lots of kills, well, if you pop it to let yourself live, you've got enough time to charge up another Uber while you're still alive to wait for that actual perfect moment. But sometimes it's not always a good thing to be aggressive with your Ubers and pop it to try and get kills. Because if you're red defending, your respawn time is, say, about 20 seconds. And... You might want to actually use that Uber to defend, because if blue team, if they have a medic and they're charging up their Uber ready to push maybe a last point, and you go ahead and pop your Uber and try and go in and get some kills on another team on another part of the map, and they've got an Uber up in a, I don't know, in another alleyway, and then they pop, pop it in, you've got nothing to actually defend that point. So sometimes it's actually a good thing to hold off your Uber and wait for the uber to come in then you can counter uber and keep all your team, team members alive so when both ubers fade you guys can damage out any uber because it's highly unlikely that their whole team will push in at one time and you've still got all your team at the point and they've maybe only got half their team and you should be able to take out that push i mean there are certain scenarios where it's actually a good idea to um, use your uber uh, when you're defending to push forward. Um, if you're keeping track of when they last pop their Uber, you're able to time it so you can Uber in and take out their medic and you know that they don't actually have their Uber ready yet. And it's best if you are going to pop aggressively like that on defense, you have to be 90% sure that you're actually going to be able to take out the opposing medic with that Uber, otherwise it's kind of a wasted Uber because their medic store live charging up uber and you're down your uber now another good one who to uber well you want to check what actual items the person has before you pop an uber because a demo with a Tarjan charge or a scottish resistance probably isn't the best idea to uber you check their what weapons they've got and if you think they're you know reasonable damaging weapons then pop on them um, it's, it's also a good idea to check the scoreboards and see who's actually doing well or just, you know, um, pay attention to who's actually getting quite a lot of kills and um, that's a good indicator on who to Uber. Um, you've also got to make sure that the person you're going to Uber is ready for the Uber. Um, it's a good idea to say you're about to pop on them or maybe even ask them to reload their weapons or grab some ammo before you actually go in for an Uber because... Those times I've uh, popped on a heavy and he's only got 25 ammo and then he starts tick 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 ticking halfway through the fucking Uber. Man, that's, that's not a good idea. Also, you might come across a term called milking Uber, which basically means you wait till the last second to pop your Uber, generally when they're at red health. I personally don't do this because then you can't really flash your Uber, which means you... Over one person, then jump to another person, then jump back to the other person, and jump between both of them, and they both get Uber. And you can't really do that when you have one person that's low, and you really need to get them back up to full health once the Uber wears off. The way I generally tend to push is, I will make sure all of my team members are buffed, then Uber one, and as that one goes in, I'll flash all my other team members behind me, so there's about maybe... Three, two to three, maybe even four sometimes players of mine that are Ubered coming around a corner. That means I've got four basically invulnerable players coming around a corner dealing damage 
to uh, an enemy team and that generally does destroy any choke that the other team has and even if it doesn't destroy everything that they have once the uber fades off I've got four of my team members as well as me healing them around the corner and they're fully buffed so their health is going to be either uh, much more than uh, all the allies around the corner anyway also another thing to note is when you actually uber someone that is gerated or is on fire it instantly takes that effect away even bleed so flashing people with those effects on them your uh, allies it instantly removes them then you can jump back to what you're originally doing and it helps out your team quite a bit but a big key note is uh, every time you do flash one of your players you lose approximately half a second of your uber so if you're flashing people constantly you're actually uh, significantly decreasing the amount or the time that you do actually have to uber in most cases I do find that a fair trade off though and um, sometimes even just popping on someone will force someone to push and if you flash multiple people it will force them to push because sometimes people do need a lot of motivation to actually push around a corner and generally an uber is enough motivation to get the ass around the corner okay so what are you actually doing through the duration of the uber and after the uber well uh, during the uber if there is a sentry gun what you want to do is actually stand in front of the person you're ubering so you're actually taking all the knockback from the sentry so your screen is shaking and the person actually aiming for the sentry their screen isn't shaking which is going to help their aim quite a bit but remember just before the um, uber actually fades away you would act you'll actually want to get behind your heal target so they end up taking the damage once the uber fades so you don't actually die uh, I generally start to do that uh, maybe about 10 second, uh, 10 percent um, when it starts to fade uh, but though I don't really check anymore I just know the timing and I just know around about when it is 10 percent but uh, you'll get used to that as you play medic uh, a lot more and what if there is no sentry? well you still can look around you're out in the front lines you get a whole view of everything you can look at sentry locations figure out where other players are where their weak points are because they might not have um, players in certain areas where you're able to flank um, constantly looking uh, at that but then also at your team members and who's coming around the corner with you if more team members come there's an opportunity to flash them and they get a bit of uber as well also another note if you've ubered onto a point and you've cleared out pretty much everything and you're still ubered you can't actually cap the point when you are ubered and you're, the person you're healing is ubered so what a good thing to do is actually to switch to your melee weapon so you don't actually have the uber gun uh, the meta gun on so you're not actually ubered but your uber's still fading and you're able to cap the point like that and that allows you to cap the point and maybe there are people still coming towards the point and you've got to cap it really fast so switching to your melee weapon will actually allow you to cap and say the team at the, the enemies do actually manage to get to the point you can switch back to your medigun gun and put the uber back onto your player and um, still defend the uh, or defend slash attack the point so I think this just about ends it. Uh, thank you for watching and keep an eye out for more medic tutorials.